Hey, what's going on guys, it is Temper Alliance, and today's video I want to talk about more about Call of Duty Ghost and the next gen consoles as well, because I have been thinking a lot about this lately, you know, for the past month or so, I have, I'd be thinking, like, should I get Call of Duty Ghosts on the day it comes out, or just wait until I get the next gen console and then get Call of Duty Ghosts, because to me, it makes more sense, because why would you want to pay like 60 euros for a 360, for, for a 360 version, and then like two weeks later get pay another 60 euro for the Xbox One version. Now to me you're paying over 100 euros just to get uh, Ghost which is too expensive really if you ask me. If, if, if you're willing to do that then go ahead but to me you know it's it, it's too expensive and I know that most, most of you guys will agree with me because you wouldn't want to spend over 100 euros you just to get it for 360 and for Xbox One because it's it is too expensive so you wouldn't want to do that but then I heard about GameStop doing these you know special offers for you know 360 for 360 and Xbox One about you know uh, get the Xbox One version if you got the Xbox One version I'll call you the ghost on day one and then when you get Xbox One you can trade in the 360 version and get an Xbox One version of Call of Duty Ghosts for only 10 euros. So to me that sounds really good but over here in Ireland I haven't heard anything like that in GameStop so I'm not really sure if it's 100% true. In GameStop every everywhere else in the United States, in England, uh, probably like in the rest of the world or something like that, in the EU countries, you know, they're doing it so what I'm guessing is if they're doing it then Ireland has to do it because you know Ireland can't be the only one out so I'm guessing they are going to do it so I am thinking about this more and more and more about thinking to myself you know should I get the 360 and then get an Xbox One version because if they are going to do that then I might as well do it because um, you know because you know I, I do like Call of Duty I got Call of Duty um, you know since I was how old was I? I was probably like 11, 12, and that was Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 was my very first Call of Duty game, and I got all the new Call of Duty games ever since. So, you know, I am looking forward to Call of Duty Ghost. I am interested on how is that going to be played out, because in Call of Duty Ghost, it does look a lot different. Um, you know, with the level up system, it's it's uh, it's pretty new. It's no longer next to your gamer tag. You have to rank up your player now, your, your character, so... You know there is no longer a level next to your name so you know i am interested on how this is going to be played out which is why i kind of want to get it because to me it looks new and it looks more exciting than than what it was back then with the call of duty days so you know i do want to get this game on on day one but i don't think i'll be able to because of school and work and all that sort of stuff you know i am working like 24 hours basically i'm working in weekends i'm also working i'm, I'm working in two places one place is in, is in is in a hotel that's in weekends um and then i'm working on like monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and you know downtown my uncles and friday is like the only time when i get off so you know, I do have a lot of time for gaming. I do have, I do have some spare time for making videos for you guys as well. But you know, for going for like a twenty-minute drive from my house to GameStop just to get Call of Duty Ghost does seem a little bit handful. But I'm gonna try and do it though. I'm gonna try and get it on day one. I don't think I'm gonna go up to the midnight release though. I did go for one in Black Ops Two. Uh, it, it didn't really excite me. The only excitement was getting it for all of my friends. That was pretty much the only excitement um, that I got. But um, you know, it's other than that, it, it's it's just a complete waste of time. You know, I I I lined up for Black Ops Two. It took ages, and it wasn't even that many people. The, the people who were working there were just slow. Um, so, you know, I don't think I'm going to do that for Call of Duty Ghost. I'm thinking I'm just going to wait until next day just to get it on day one. Um, you know, I'm not in too big of a rush anyway because of next gen. Like, I am really thinking, should I do it? Like, a part of me is saying, go on, do it. If GameStop's doing the deal, then go on, do it. And another part of me is like, don't bother. You know, it, to, all you, all you got to do is wait for two weeks. And you can get it, and you and you can get the game then. But I really want to play Call of Duty because I'm really interested. 
and I, I, I am a big fan of Call of Duty, and I've, I actually have been a Call of Duty fan since Modern Warfare 2, so it actually has been so many years since I've been a Call of Duty fan, so, um, you know, I do want to get Call of Duty Ghosts, but, you know, I'm just not sure, but I, I probably get it, I'll probably get it on day one as well, and uh, to make things even more exciting, um, that if if you level up, if you if you manage to prestige in two weeks, which for me is like impossible, but if you manage to like prestige or whatever you did on the 360 version and switch over to Xbox One uh, to, to Xbox One version, then you know all that will be saved for the Xbox One. Now I don't know how that'll work. What I'm guessing is when you put your um, gamer tag or your profile or whatever you want to call it from the 360 Xbox One, it's going to save everything that you did. Uh, for Call of Duty Ghosts, which makes sense though, because for for Xbox One news, your gamer score will be able to, would would be kept for when when you get the Xbox One, so it, it it makes sense that way as well. So you know, so since that is going to be happening, then like the the more news I hear about it, the more I want to get it on day one. But like I said, it's going to be. It's going to be uh, a handful of trying to get it on day one, but I am going to try though. I'm definitely going to try because you know, like I said, I actually have been a Call of Duty fan, and the only reason why I'm 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 relating it to Xbox version is pretty much because I've always played Xbox. I played Xbox since I was like a little kid, basically. I still have the the same Xbox actually, um, but I need I I need to get rid of it soon. So hopefully this Xbox One will come out uh, faster before my um, Xbox 360 just dies because it's, it, it's making a lot of weird noises it makes sense though because you know I, I did have this Xbox for a long time and um, you know it, it actually stuck with me for this long which I'm actually very happy because um, I never got to slim or anything which I actually should have I might do it for this for this year as if they're making a, an Xbox one slim or something like that um, just to make it you know higher or, or just to make it even better so that I won't have to, you know, risk my Xbox dying from me and then have to wait and play nothing. But anyway, um, so, so yeah, so for Call of Duty Ghosts, um, I, I honestly can't wait for that game. Can't wait to play it, uh, the maps and all that. Can't wait for the new game mode, actually. That'll, that'll be pretty fun to do. And um, I'm just not sure. But what do you guys think? Are you guys going to get it on day one? Are you going to switch, do that, for e even if you're on PlayStation as well? Are you going to get it on day one for PlayStation 3? And then get it again for PlayStation 4? You know what are you guys going to do? Let me know in the comments. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. I always appreciate it when you give it a like. And also, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. That's pretty much it for me. Once again, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.